What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mars, man, and we're here for another video. Our first Elden Ring video, man. The game is finally here, and I know y'all got questions about things that y'all want in the game, and y'all might not know how to get it. So what I'm here to do is I'm here to show y'all. So for today, I got all three of the first starter world's dragon abilities, and I'm going to go ahead and show them to y'all so y'all see if it's even worth it to you or if you just want to kick it to the curb. So here's number one. We got dragon fire. So Dragonfire was actually in the network test. So what it does is it summons a big dragon head and you breathe fire and it uses up your full MP bar. So basically you're going to have to have a lot of MP if you want to run that move. If you want to run it, you got to probably put like maximum mine dang there to really to really utilize that. Uh, second move is going to be Dragon Claw. So here we go, Dragon Claw. Now, Dragon Claw is probably my favorite of the first three dragon moves that you can get. Um, it looks dope. We go, we're going to show it one more time. Uh, the only thing is, it takes a little bit to cast. So, if you don't got the, the opponent uh, stunned or anything like that, they probably going to light you up. Uh, so, number three. We've got number three. We got Dragon Maw. So, what Dragon Maw is, it summons another big dragon head. And it uses the mob to bite down on it. So, we're going to do it one more time, but from a different angle. Let's look at it. Boom. So that's all three. All three of the first available uh, dragon moves that you can get for your dragon abilities. There's a plethora more, but that's just the first three. So if you're deciding if you want to go with that type of build early on in the game, those are the first three that you get to see. Uh, now let's, let, let me see if I can get some content using it on some people. Sit tight. We're going to go ahead and get our S's back and, you know, let's go, let's go find a giant. So we're we going to go ahead and use it on a giant that's on the beach, that's in the first area, um, just to take a look at it. Go ahead and gallop and ride this way. Ah, man. It's good to be back on some on a Dark Souls type game, man. I'll say that much. All right, here we go. So we hop clean off. We go ahead. So that's the first one. So obviously you have to have your stats to match to make that work. See what I was talking about, Dragon Claw? If you can get interrupted if you don't finish it in time. Boom. Got it off that time though. Go ahead and heal. Are oh, you wilding right now? Calm down. All right. There you go. The third one. So that one does a lot more damage if it actually hits. It's like the full bite of the dragon. Wait, did I just not get interrupted? All right then. So there you have it. That is all three of the first starter ability dragon moves. Um, so what you wanna keep in mind is that the more that you use those moves um, as the game progresses on, they're gonna lose their strength unless you level arcane and faith now it's going to be mostly arcane to make that scale if i'm not mistaken i'm still early in the game um but i'm pretty sure arcane is what's going to make that damage pretty much go all the way up and skyrocket through the roof so you're going to level your arcane and faith plays a part of being able to learn those moves too so they kind of go hand in hand um and there's a couple other things that's going to help with that too so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe because I got another video talking about the dragon moves coming up right behind this one, along with my first Let's Play um, with my brother, uh, Rio, AKA Pride. Uh, we do a Let's Play together and we stream it on Twitch. Basically, you got my screen, you got his screen, and we go through the game together on our builds. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if y'all wanna see that. 